Hi, this is Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate experts. And today we're going to talk about issues that sellers are running into in this very strong seller's market. And yes, sellers are running into issues. The first issue we're seeing is home inspections. And the way this plays out is a home will have multiple offers. So it's selling for 300,000. We'll have three, four, five people, sometimes 10 or 12 will bid on the property and it'll drive it up to say 340. Now you're gonna see some buyers that have a specific strategy and that is they wanna get the property under contract, they wanna have a home inspection done, then they're gonna ask for a huge price, price reduction. So the offer, the highest offer is 340,000, they ask for a 10 or $20,000 price reduction. And the way you see this is typically in a home inspection, even with an as is contract, if something major was unseen, it comes up like, you know, the AC is bad or there's a roof leak or a problem with the roof, they're going to probably ask for that to be fixed. Now, somebody that's fishing for a price reduction and they're trying to get the best deal they can, they're going to give you a huge list of items. You're going to have basically the whole inspection report and they're going to ask for this 10, 15, $20,000 price reduction. Now, the handling for this is very simple. It's no, we're not going to reduce the price. With this price reduction, you're no longer the highest buyer. Please go ahead and tell your buyer they need to move forward with no repairs, no price reductions, or send a cancellation of contract. So the agent really needs to hold a strong line on this and not give in to the demands. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is with these other buyers, you need to keep the other buyers alive. In addition, the first and second buyers that missed, they've already lost the house once. They don't want to lose it a second time. So when you go back to these buyers, they're probably going to come up. They're going to be cooperative. It's going to be a good scenario. But that's the first issue that we run into with um, the strong seller's market. Stay tuned for number two.